Today, we're diving into the top technical indicators every trader must know tested, ranked, and backed by over 30 years of market data from quantifiedstrategies.com. These aren't just popular indicators. They're the ones that have proven themselves in real-world trading on the S&P 500 across different market conditions. And before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this one. Here are five key indicators every swing trader should have on their radar. Relative Strength Index, RSI. Internal Bar Strength, just IBS. Stochastics. Bollinger Bands. Williams Percent R. We'll walk through how each works, show you backtests, and reveal which one came out on top in terms of performance. How did we choose them? We backtested 15 different technical indicators on the S&P 500 from 1993 to today. We included realistic trading costs, 0.03% per trade for slippage and commissions. And then we ranked them using risk-adjusted returns. That means it's not just about how much they made, but how they handled the downside. As a trader, you don't want big swings in your equity curve. You want consistent performance with smaller drawdowns. That's what makes a strategy usable in the real world. First up, the Relative Strength Index RSI. Our setup buys when the two-day RSI drops below 10 and sells when it moves above 60. It worked well historically, but since 2015, the strategy has struggled. During the COVID crash in 2020, the drawdown hit 30%. That's tough to hold through, and most traders would likely abandon it. Next, we have the internal bar strength, or IBS. This indicator tracks where the close falls within the day's range. IBS is zero if the close is at the low, and one if it's at the high. We used a two-day moving average of IBS. Buy below 0 0.3 sell at 0 0.8. Performance was decent, but during the 2008 financial crisis, the drawdown was 35%, a bit too high for most. Moving on to stochastics, we tested a two-day look-back period, entering below 10 and exiting above 70. It doesn't trade often, but the results are impressive. Maximum drawdown was only 15%. That kind of smoothness is rare and it's a big advantage. Next up, Bollinger Bands. Because markets tend to revert to the mean, we buy when price breaks below the lower band and sell when it breaks above the upper band. We used an eight day look back and band settings of one and 1.8 standard deviations. Returns looked good overall, but drawdowns reached 45% in 2003 and 2009, mainly because this strategy keeps you in the market more often, similar to buy and hold. And now, our favorite, Williams Percent R. This one works like stochastics. Readings near negative 100 suggest oversold levels, while near zero suggests overbought. We tested a 10-day period, buying at minus 90 and selling at minus 80. The results? Max drawdown, only 18%. Average gain per trade, 0.5%. Best year, 2002 with plus 24%. Worst year, 2018 with just minus 3.4%. Williams, percent R came out as the most consistent performer, making it our top pick for technical traders. So there you have it, the top technical indicators every trader must know. We've tested dozens, and these five stand out for their reliability and real-world performance. Which ones do you use? Let us know in the comments. If you got value from this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss future trading strategies backed by data.